today's video, I'm going to show you some of my favorite conditioning exercises for headstands and handstands. If you can get up into either of these moves but you can't quite lift it, hopefully these little exercises are going to help you out. As always, make sure you have been safely taught how to do your headstand or handstand before trying out any of these conditioning exercises. If you can lift up into your headstand or your handstand, these ones are hopefully going to help you get that deadlift. It's really important to make sure you have a strong position for the headstand or the handstand. In the handstand, you are pulling with the top arm, pushing with the bottom arm, and your core is engaged. When you're in your straight leg position, you're squeezing your quads and pointing your toes, and your legs are squeezing towards each other. I like to look at the floor in the headstand or the handstand, but of course that changes depending on which position you're going to add on or work from. In your headstand, you are pushing through both shoulders as much as possible, and if you want to, you can also pull on the pole just a little bit. Firstly, we can work on our negatives. Once you're in that handstand or your headstand, we want to try to bring our legs to the floor as slow as possible. We can start in a knee tuck, bringing the feet towards the bum and then slowly bringing the knees towards the chest and lowering down as slow as possible until the toes touch the floor. We can then work on our negatives in a straddle. From your headstand or your handstand, open your legs up to a straddle and you will have to start to stick your bum out to lower down. So in your handstand, stick your bum out as much as you can, tuck your pelvis under. My bum naturally sits backwards as my feet start to lower and I move as slowly as possible until my feet come back towards each other and land on the floor. And we can also do negatives in a pike position. So keep both legs super straight, so squeeze your quads and point your toes and bend at the hips. Your feet start to lower down as your bum pushes back. It's really important to almost hit this number seven shape or reverse seven shape, depending on which way round you are. So your bum is really sticking out as the legs lower down. And as your feet come to the floor, your hips will come over your shoulders once again. Doing our negatives in our headstand is slightly different because the pole's in the way of the butt. You can do your knee tucks as before, so you can bring your feet towards your bum and then your knees towards your chest. But as you bring your knees towards your chest, really think about tucking your pelvis so that the lower back pushes into the pole. That position is really going to help you when you try your straddle. So from your headstand, when we do the straddle, open the legs, squeeze your quads and point your toes and start to tuck your pelvis under as much as possible. When your legs are roughly parallel to the floor, you want to think about tucking the pelvis and letting the lower back push into the pole. If you don't tuck that pelvis, you will come down very, very quickly, quicker than you want to. So think about tucking the pelvis and pushing the lower back towards the pole. You don't need to rely on pushing into the pole for this one, as you can do this without a pole, but the movement idea is the same, where you're tucking your pelvis and flattening your back. The pole is going to be where your butt needs to move in the pike, you won't be able to lower down in a pike in your headstand. Negative repeaters. So this is exactly what it sounds like it is. When you can do your negatives in either your pike, your straddle or your knee tucks, you can do as many in a row as possible. So you can lift up through your pike or through your straddle or through your knee tuck, whichever feels comfortable for you, and then you can work on whichever negative you want. So once you're up in that headstand or that handstand, we can lower down, either through a pike if we're in the handstand, or we can straddle down or knee tuck down in the headstand or the handstand. The idea is to bring your feet as low as possible to the floor without resting on the floor and then bringing yourself back up. Sliding into your headstand or handstand. You can do this one with a cloth or with socks on, it depends what your flooring is like as to what you would prefer. You can also do it in heels as well. If you set up for your headstand or your handstand with your feet a little bit away from the pole as where you'd usually go, and step onto your cloth or wear socks. Really think about coming as high onto your toes as possible, and the reason for doing that is to try and lift your hips as high as possible. Slide your feet into the body, keeping the hips moving towards the shoulders and then hopefully above the shoulders, and then from there we can try and straddle up or pike up or knee tuck up. When you land, try to land back on the cloth if you can, just so you have somewhere to land. But if you are doing this in a headstand, you can either just land on your feet 
Or you can land on the cloth and then push your feet away from you, lying on your stomach, and then go again with a headstand. So you can pull your feet towards your face as you lift your hips, bringing your hips over your shoulders and then open out into your headstand. For our handstand, we can also do little rocks if you're not yet comfortable lifting up into it. So if you set up in your handstand position where you're pulling with the top arm and pushing with the bottom arm, and set your feet a little bit away from the pole, and make sure you're on flat feet. From here, come up onto the balls of the feet and then as high on the tiptoes as possible. The idea is to rock as much as possible and then hopefully allow your tiptoes to come off of the floor. Your main aim is to let your hips come over your shoulders as high as you can and then hopefully the feet can come off the floor. And when the feet can come off the floor, that is when you can open up into a straddle or lift up into your handstand however you like. You might need to play around with where you place your feet for this one until you feel like you can get a good lift off. I would try and do five reps of each exercise, but of course pick and choose the exercises to suit what you want to work on that day, and hopefully these will get you stronger and stronger. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you want a few little tips for your headstands or your handstands, I have that video for you as well. Bye now!